Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com, and behind me down by the street, you'll see the uh, test fender we've been messing with for a couple weeks with the new coating. You'll also notice there's a uh, gallon jug by it. Yeah, that sulfuric acid, that's actually, that's, well, it's a sulfur, sulfuric acid blend. Uh, it's what my Marine Series hull brightener is. Actually, that's the pro version, so it's like five times stronger than hull brightener is. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to grab a water bottle and I'm going to show you guys uh, this is the water bottle I used in yesterday's demo. So I'm going to just show you guys that this uh, still has all of its water beading properties and whatnot. Uh, that was the area I sanded right in this area right there. So um, the coating is still very much still there, very much still um, hydrophobic, as you can see. So very much still intact. You'll notice uh, back here is a little bit flat, whereas here we have all these nice beads. See? All right, so so that you guys don't say oh well it was diluted with water i'm going to see that was the that was the first test so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and grab a microfiber towel this is the uh, gary dean wash method microfiber towel and uh i'm gonna wipe this water off of here real quick then i'm literally gonna pour some sulfuric acid on it i look i don't know what this is going to do i have not done this test before i mean who puts acid on their car anyway um i guess kind of where i'm at is i feel like this sulfuric acid is going to be uh something that will allow us to judge chemical resistance um i'm going to go ahead and put it on both sides of the coated and the non-coated and we're gonna I guess see what the difference is um, you'll notice that says acid on the top and normally you'd want to wear gloves and all of the nice things but I'm not gonna uh, this isn't gonna hurt the concrete at all but literally I'm gonna pour this on all right see it foaming up on the concrete so that's sulfuric acid ladies and gentlemen and then I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it all over there. So it's there's other things in it uh, than just sulfuric acid, which makes it even more caustic. But I'm just gonna leave that sit there to dry in the sun, and we will basically compare the two uh, once it's all dry. So, uh, whoo, stinky. Um, notice the acid bubbling up on the concrete. All right, I'm going to leave this fender here for however long it takes to completely dry. Uh, it's a nice and bright sunny day today, so I'll bring you back whenever it's dry and then I'll rinse it off and we'll see what's going on. Now, um... I don't necessarily mind if this acid etches in. What I don't want it to do is to etch through. Um, I want to be able to save the panel, if you will. I want to be able to go back in with a polisher and make that uh, coated area look great where you can polish the coating and not have to reapply. That's what we're looking for here. So I don't care if it damages it or not. I just want to be able to fix it without having to reapply the coating. So that's where we're at. And I'll bring you back in just a little bit once it's dried and we see where we're at. All right, boys and girls, I've decided to do another test while we're waiting on that acid to uh, dry up. Got a couple of eggs. As you all know, if somebody comes by and just eggs your car, it's gonna, the eggs are crazy acidic and they'll eat through your paint, leaving etchings. Uh, and that kind of thing, much like bird bombs and that, you know, love bugs. Uh, from all my research, sulfuric acid, what I put on here, battery acid essentially, 
is uh, stronger than love bug acid. So, something that I know you guys might want to see, which I don't want to get all over my driveway, but I don't have any other choice because I don't want to move that fender right now. I'm going to go ahead and crack these eggs. Look at this. Egg all over. All over. Okay. Toss that chill. Got egg all over that. All over it. Gross. All right. We're going to do the same thing up in this corner. We'll put an egg right there and I'm going to break it open and let it do its whole thing. Okay, so we're just going to leave that. So there you go. Egg and acid. Well, the eggs will turn into an acid shortly. But we've got acid all day on this fender. So, all right, we'll bring you back when we uh, have some data to collect. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, we are back. The test fender for the new coat situation uh, has been baking in the hot Florida Sun in over 90 degrees for at least 36 full Sun hours so it's about about four days worth um, not counting the overnight it's got about 36 hours worth of Sun baking this sulfuric acid and the eggs that I've cracked on top of this thing um, so it's time now to clean all that off, inspect the damage that it did, if any, uh, and then try to correct it out. So that's exactly what we're going to do now. So let me each turn it around. So I have the fender right here. I got just a little piece of microfiber and then, uh, I got some water and the maintenance soap. Well, it's, there's no real maintenance for it. I mean, it's permanent. It doesn't go away. Um, the only maintenance would be, you know, in a couple years, if you want to throw on another coat, you could do that. So you can see this fender here has the egg splatter all over it still. And, uh, the acid was dumped in this area and in this area. So I'm just going to go ahead and take some regular water and get rid of all of the crap sitting on the surface. All right. So it came out pretty good on the coated side I'll go ahead and just wash this fender get all this egg off and see what we're left with all the egg has to go away all of the acid needs to go away ew man the egg came right off of the coated portion but it is giving me a hard time on this uncoated portion like literally i can't get it off <laughs> that sucks um let's see scrub 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 i mean it's it's just like caked on there looks good from here so let's take it over here in the sun and talk about it all right, so it's pretty obvious where the egg etched in. Just gonna grab a towel real quick to dry it off. I mean, look, you could tell still incredibly hydrophobic all the way across the board there. Not so much over here. So this is one coat. I highly recommend two coats. Um, but let's see what's going on here all right it's pretty dry now it's got a little bit of residual water on it but that's all right so in the sun all right the uncoated side definitely looks all beaten up but the coated side does not Let's see. It doesn't look like the sulfuric acid did a ton to either side, which is good. Um, I can see where I poured it. It etched in pretty good and looks like crap, but it's really, 
really didn't change or I mean it definitely etched in a lot and it's all over here and over here but that egg and it's pretty much just damaged the panel all the way around it that's, I'm trying to get you some shots in the light so the egg beat it up pretty good this is the coated side the acid I poured right here um, and you'll notice this is the section we did the uh, sanding deal on and then uh, I poured the acid right here and it still looks really good but where the uh, egg was it definitely etched into the coating so what I'm going to do is get set up and just see if I can polish that out and what the effort level is for it so let me get set up for that and get that done Okay, so let me turn one more light on. You can see you can see things a lot better inside the garage with these LED lights on. If you look, the egg definitely trashed the fender. I mean on both sides. I mean I don't know how often your car gets egged, but I've never been egged personally. Uh, I don't want to be egged, just saying. Eggs nasty stuff. So, with that said, um, I'm going to try some smart cut. You can see a little bit where the acid etched a little bit. Oh, it tried to etch in here, but the egg was the worst. You can tell the, gl the gloss level is insane compared to that backside that hasn't been coated. So it looks like about it, it, it etched in about evenly. I'm going to see what it takes to um, straighten it out, basically. So I'm going to put some uh, smart cut right here. And then I've got my Harbor Freight DA and just a uh, orange four inch pad. So let's give her a go. Hey. Yeah, that turned out really nice. I don't even see where the egg was anymore. This fender, I did not do full correction on it. So what I'm seeing is that yes, the egg damaged the surface, but it did not penetrate too far because I was able to get all of the uh, egg damage out, which is pretty cool. Um, this, yeah, it looks great. um let's do this let's go let's go just a little bit more a little lighter though
All right, so got her polished. I mean, it's still insane. I'm thrilled to death to uh, release this product. I mean, <laughs> babe, tell me how glossy that is. It's stupid, right? So there was egg etching everywhere in here. And what you're noticing is, so it attacked the first layer basically and look like crap but i was able to polish it all the way off and uh, make it look awesome uh, all of the acid i put on um, sulfuric acid and i got all of the acid marks out um, and you can see how bad the egging situation was over here and you got none of that throughout over here and the coating still looks amazing um, we're going to take that water bottle i had in the previous video this is just water in here nothing fancy um and we're going to check for hydrophobic ability so you can see it's very blah over there tight like a tiger beads all day beads all day i am more than happy with all of this blah and beads blah and beads look at that look at that would you look at it would you just look at it said ed bassmaster if you don't know who ed bassmaster is look it up on youtube it's funny 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 but look it's still there and crazy glossy and was not affected except for the very, very surface, which could have just been egg residue. I didn't scrub hard enough to get off, but did not affect the coating, did not penetrate into the coating. Uh, I was able to adjust, you know, you saw, I wasn't bearing down hard. I wasn't trying to cut, cut, cut. And uh, as compounds go, um, smart cut is pretty aggressive, but um, it is also really, really a decent finisher. Um, so it leaves the surface looking nice. As you see, I, ha I didn't even use any, uh, smart finish, which is sitting right there. Um, but yeah, guys, flying colors, flying colors. It resisted the egg. It resisted the sulfuric acid. In my opinion, that is all I need to see to feel like this is a superior product to pretty much everything else. Uh, that I've ever used. Um, it is love bug season coming in. I've, I've seen a few around. Um, I'm going to try to find a way to coat a front end or something uh, where we can get some love bug splatter on it. Uh, but from all of my research that I did prior to doing this test with the sulfuric acid, the sulfuric acid is more aggressive than the love bug splatter would be. And that just means that if this resists the sulfuric acid test, which like I said, was baked on here for over 36 hours in the Florida sun, uh, if it resists that, it will resist love bugs. And so that is the official answer uh, as far as does this stuff resist love bug etchings? Um, the answer is yes. Wow. I mean, just... The hydrophobic ability is awesome. The gloss though, check this out. Let's see if I can get this dry with this semi new towel. Um, man, it is just awesome. This stuff is amazing. Now, would I go and apply this stuff and then throw eggs at my car? to prove it no that's why i'm doing this on video so you can see it so that you don't have to worry about bugs and etchings and uh throwing eggs at your car and putting acid on it and all those things i mean the proof is in the pudding guys and i just proved it to you that this is a game changer it's awesome
So thank you guys so much for watching these videos and checking out uh, the demos and the testing we're doing on uh, the brand new coatings. This is more like a clear coat than a coating. It's so awesome. And like, of course I would say that, but the tests that I'm doing for you guys to see prove it. Um, it's not just me saying, oh, my product is awesome. I'm doing these tests on video and not chopping it all up so that you see that the video runs and there's no shady business. Um, like I have noticed some people on YouTube in the detailing world. I'm just gonna say, this is real world testing guys. This is testing in the real world, not just in a lab. And that's what we do best. I test in the real world. I will not try to sell you a product that I can't use myself in my pro detailing business. And this right here, this is the future of detailjuice.com right here. So again, thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I appreciate you taking the time. Actual training for applying these coatings, storing, selling, using, all of that. I'm doing a training January 22nd and 23rd, 2022. So in about three months time, I'm doing a training in Tampa, Florida. And we're going to learn, you're going to learn a whole lot about this stuff. So um, if you're interested in being a part of that training, reach out to me. And, and the training will also certify you to be able to install this. Um, so you are going to have access to this if you do the training. If you don't, there will be other ways to have access. But that is the way to get rolling the soonest is to come to the training in January. Uh, if you're interested, 813-846-4406 is my cell. Uh, give me a call, send me a text, send me a message on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is gary.dean.35, so G-A-R-R-Y-D-E-A-N, or G-A-R-R-Y dot D-E-A-N dot 35. On Instagram, but I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day, guys.